So trip purpose is one of the many traveler attributes that can be used to understand questions like the why and who is traveling in your area. Um, the trip purpose specifically helps to reveal commuter behavior, understanding, um, you know, work from home habits and how traffic is changing during the week and from home-based um, work trips versus home-based trips to elsewhere. And it can be combined with our equity information, demographics, education, and other traveler attributes to get a full picture of who is traveling in your area and the purpose behind that travel. So uh, just to clarify the trip purpose, which are the specific updates here, that includes home-based work, home-based other, and non-home-based differentiation. Um, and there's many other um, attributes under these traveler attributes in terms of equity, education, household, and employment um, for you to understand um, what's going on behind these travel patterns. All right, and I'll move into the platform to demonstrate an example of using the new trip purpose data months. So here is an example in the city of Seattle, and I ran a zone activity analysis for a few zip codes in the Seattle area. You can also look at it a lot more granular by keeping it high level here. Um, so right off the bat, we can see the number of trips in each of these zones. And now over here under traveler attributes is where you can toggle to um, see the trip purpose breakdown. So right now we're seeing all of the zip codes in the Seattle area, and we're seeing the number of trips that are from home to work, from home to other, and not home-based. You can also see these in percentages as well. And now we'll dive into just one zip code in the area and select just this zone. So in this area in Seattle, um, there's a large e-commerce retailer that mandated return to work five days a week um, and many other businesses. So we thought it would be interesting to look at the different day types and see how the trip purpose changes by day of the week. So if we look at a Wednesday, just at this zip code, and then we bring up the traveler attributes again, we can see about 19.5% of the trips in this zip code are from home to work. Um, and then if we change our day to look at Friday, which is a day that typically there's less people um, or more people working from home, less people commuting in, um, we can see that that drops to about 15%, um, but still a high proportion of folks um, commuting in on Fridays, um, perhaps indicative of the um, some of the employers in that area that have mandated um, return to office five days a week. So that is an example of how you can use the new 2025 trip purpose data um, to reveal some different insights and understand what's happening in your travel patterns. Mm -hmm.